cut with the domino, so now it's time for me to move on to my Craig jig. I already have my Craig jig set up for three quarter inch material, as well as the stop collar on the drill bit for three quarter inch material. And what I want to do, this is the bottom of my base cabinet. So on the underside of that, in the front, I want four holes here so I could secure the face frame to the cabinet. So the screws that I use to secure the box together are GRK's uh, screws. They're number nine by two inch screws. So they're 50 millimeters long. And what I want to make sure that when I go and I put a screw into the side of this cabinet to assemble the side and the bottoms together, that later when I go to attach the face frame, that this screw does not impede the pocket hole screw. So I know that that screw is 50 millimeters long, and I still have to attach the sides here, so that gives me 18 millimeters, 19 millimeters in thickness of the side. So I'm going to set my gauge up at 50 millimeters. And if you're familiar with the Craig jig, there's three different holes here, A, B, and C. And there's an index line to let you know where the center of that hole is. So for the right side of the jig here, I'm going to just slide this over to where I'm pretty close. It doesn't have to be dead nuts. Uh, but I'm close to this C hole. And I'm just going to make a mark here to let me know that this is my stopping point as a reference for the rest of my base cabinet. So I'm just going to do this one initial setup. So I'll come over here and then I'm going to use the C or the A hole over here. Yeah, the A hole, get that? Ah, terrible, terrible humor, I know. And then I'm just going to make a reference mark there. Uh, I have the dust collection hooked up with the Craig J, and I'm ready to go now. So those two marks are just for uh, the face or the base cabinet bottoms for the face frame. Now, I'm not worried about these two holes right here. General vicinity, vicinity is good enough for me. Uh, you're never going to see them. Uh, but I want at least four holes to secure that face frame to the bottom of the cap. So now that I have this set up, I can just go ahead and knock out the rest of the pocket holes. Now I want to move on to the side cabinets, or the side of the cabinets. Uh, the blue tape, that represents the front of my cabinet. Uh, so I want to make sure that I put a couple screws here, or pocket holes here, for some screws to hold the face frame in place. So the inside of the cabinet faces away from me. And the dado is up on the top, because obviously I want the front of the cabinet down against my uh, jig. stretchers. So all I'm going to do basically, um, this is the inside of the cabinet so I want the uh, pocket holes to be on the outside. I'm just going to kind of just eyeball it, center that up and drill two holes on top and the bottom of each one. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, it's really hard to mess up the Craig jig, I think. I just want to pick one of the stretchers for the cabinet and I want to dedicate that one for the front of the cabinet. So I want to put, I have the pocket hole here on the side and now I want to put some in the front 
that will hold the face frame on the top of the cabinet itself. part of me building the cabinet. But, uh, I'm really glad that I'm able to hook uh, the dust collector up to it. That saves a lot of time cleaning up. So I think that does it for the pocket screws. I'm short on time today. I don't have a lot of time to spend in the shop, uh, but I wanted to get out of here and get something done. I have until March to get these done, uh, but I'm pretty sure March will be here before you know it. Hey, thanks for watching. Thank you.